Hi guys, my name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the second half of December reading for you all, December 16th through the 31st reading for Cancer. How are you all today? I am doing fantastic. I hope you guys are too. I've already meditated on the cards, you guys. This one. And this does take me a minute. Please be patient. And I do want to say thank you to everybody that liked and commented on our um, video about the comment section. I appreciate everybody's um, sweet words. That was very nice of everyone. Thank you guys very much. see what we got. The Two of Swords. Seven of Swords. The Moon card. The Lord. Princess of Swords. And rebirth. Are they kind of straight? I hope so. The world card. The tower. Don't panic. And the high priestess. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I think that's the cutest little card. <clears throat> Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Well, seeing clearly, it's time to view things from a different perspective. You have the blessed gift to see the past, see past the current situation and envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry, the pause and momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. Time to view things from a different perspective. That's very interesting because it's what this tower kind of is telling me a little bit. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to start off with these clarifying over here, you all. The clarifying, you get the tower, you get the high priestess, and you get the world card. And it almost makes me feel like because um, part of your life is coming to an ending of a cycle, things that might need to change for you all. And when I see this card saying that you might need to see things from a different perspective, and then I get the tower... Sometimes that's all the tower is. Sometimes the tower is just popping up saying, you know what, you need to think of things in a different way. You need to see things more clearly, possibly where the, how this moon's pop, popping up too. Some things are not always as they seem, or some things are not always as they appear with this moon card. Sometimes you look at something one way in the nighttime, for instance, and then you look at it in the daytime and you're like, holy cow, that looks totally different, right? Sometimes you look at a house, you drive by a house and go, wow, that's the most beautiful house I've ever seen. You walk inside and it's destroyed. It's got graffiti on the walls, holes punched in the walls. You would have never known that. So that's all I'm trying to say. I mean, this can be in a lot of different uh, instances or situations. I'm just giving you an example. But some, some things are not always as they appear or as they seem, and that might be why you need a new perspective. And that might be exactly why this tower is coming in, giving you a new perspective. It might be the universe helping you along the way, giving you that new idea or way of thinking. 
Because when I get the world and, and your life is coming to an ending of a cycle, that might be the ending of it. That might be the ending of it so you can actually have something new and exciting and a new stepping stone in your life with this rebirth card. And that could be where this Two of Swords is coming in too. But you could have these two choices or these two decisions or something that you've got to make and you don't want to make it. It's a stressful decision. It's a stressful choice. You don't know which path to take. You don't know which job to take, which um, house to move into, which road to travel. You're unsure. And you're stressed out a little bit about it. But I have a feeling that with this Two of Swords and then this uh, tower, whether it be an epiphany or some other kind of a situation, you're going to realize that it's all going to work out for the best for you all. Because some things are not always as they seem or as they appear. And then I get the Seven of Swords. So some of you guys may actually be working online, on the internet. Maybe you're studying. Maybe you're going back to school. You could possibly be dating on, online too. But you could be uh, gathering information. Maybe you're researching something. Trying to figure something out. Trying to figure out how to do something better. How to make yourself better at something. And then, I didn't mean to leave this high priestess out, but I have a feeling that this card has a lot to do with your new perspective. The new way of you seeing things. Because when I get the high priestess, you know, you guys are a water sign. First of all, you're highly intuitive. All water signs are. But when I get the high priestess, the, the in intuition is going to kick up a notch or two. It's going to be really, really strong and your gut and your instincts and your inner guidance is going to be telling you the right way to go, the right path to take. And it's going to be right. It always is. I mean, uh, go with your gut. That's how we've lived this long. So when I get the high priestess, it's almost like your intuition is going to kick up. Your dreams might start kicking up. They might start getting more vivid and more intense in a good way. Don't take that the wrong way. Um, and sometimes you'll have dreams of, of maybe even passed on loved ones that you can communicate with in your dreams. Especially for the water signs. I, I have to say that and I don't know exactly why I'm saying it. But because we're, because the intuition is so high and then it gets heightened your dreams are more vivid and, and it's easier to communicate in your dreams. Give me just a second, okay? I feel like I need to say something else about this high priestess. Just like I was saying with the world card and then the tower card coming in and the universe actually stepping in saying, okay, if you guys don't change something, then we're going to change it for you. And it might just be your mind, you know, change your mind about something or your new perspective. That's kind of, kind of goes hand in hand with this high priestess when I was saying that. Because it's going to make you feel more um, capable of making better decisions for yourself. It's going to make you feel rejuvenated. It's going to make you feel more powerful a little bit. Because you're going to know that your choices and your decisions are the right ones for you. When I get this Lord card right here, he's been popping up today. I feel like, now some of you might have his, um, he's kind of like the Emperor in other decks. Some of you guys might have his um, intelligence. Some of you guys might have his energy that you realize that whatever you set your mind to do, you can actually do, and you can. But I have a feeling for some of you guys that he might be someone that you need to go talk to. He might be someone that needs to give you advice. He might need to give you a service, whether it be an attorney, um, a policeman, a judge, a loan a realtor, maybe even regarding a business opportunity or a business idea. Sometimes this gentleman is just a, a well-respected person in your community, and he could be someone that's like a 
father figure to you or a good family friend or someone in your church. Someone that could possibly help you in some, some way. So if you do need some kind of advice or some kind of a service, you might need to seek out this person in your life. They might can help you. When I get this Princess of Swords, Swords are air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Now, this could be a male or female any age with this younger feminine energy. You could be dealing with someone. It could be someone in your family. It could be a child. It could be a grandchild. It could be a niece, a, ne a nephew. It could be your um, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, or wife. But it could also be what she stands for. It could be your energy today, too. You're intelligent, you're truthful, you're wise, um, you're, um, you can do whatever you set your mind to do. Now, she can also stand for a message maybe coming in via internet, email, or phone, which could be where you're working online here, too. Could be a new opportunity somehow, some way. When I get this rebirth card, this rebirth card tells me that there's going to be some kind of um, a change. And of course, if there's a tower card, and to me, if there's a world card, it's almost like this is an ending to something so something else can begin. Something else can change or something else can open up in your life, a new stepping stone somehow, some way. So don't panic over this Two of Swords about this um, uh, decision because you're going to make the right one. This High Priestess confirms that for me. And you're going to start out and do something different. And sometimes it's not actually moving homes or getting new jobs or anything like that, but maybe it's just the way you're thinking with this rebirth. Just the way that your mindset is. And you're going to feel free somehow, some way. Now, when I get this make the effort and pay attention to the red flags, these are two, to me, these are two totally different things. Make the effort is if you have someone in your life and you might be interested in, you definitely might need to let them know. Make the effort. Uh, let them know you want to go out on a date and let them know that you're interested in them or, you know, make the effort. Now, pay attention to the red flags can go in so many different directions. This can be anything from your kids, your family members, your parents, your um, friends, your co-workers. It can go in all different directions. So maybe that's where this card is coming in. It's just saying, pay attention to the red flags. Maybe it's like, like I said with this moon card. Some things are not always as they seem or as they appear. So just pay attention, okay? If you get red flag, red flag, red flag, pay attention. Give me a minute. I'm going to rearrange, okay? This one here. Mm -hmm. Okay. When this world card pops up, part of your life is coming to a completion of a cycle. And with that, the world wants to allow something great to happen for you if you apply yourself, if you want it bad enough, if you attempt it. So if there's anything you're wanting to do or anything you're wanting to change, now might be the time. And then when I get this Two of Swords here, it's almost like you've got some kind of a stressful decision. You don't know which path to take. You don't know which way to go. Even though I believe in your mind, you already know which way to go, but you don't want to make this choice or this decision for some reason. It's stressful for you. But I have a feeling the universe is going to step in again and say, okay, now is the time for this change. Whether it be something happens or whether you get an epiphany yourself or just that new idea or wake up one morning and say, this is what I'm going to change. Something's going to change. And you're going to realize that some things are not always as they seem or as they appear. Just like this seeing clearly down here says. And then with this High Priestess, your intuition is going to start getting stronger and stronger and your abilities and your capabilities and your, you're going to feel more powerful almost because you're going to know that your choices are the right ways to go and your decisions and your gut and your instincts are the right decisions. 
Some of you guys with the Seven of Swords might be putting in applications for jobs, resumes. You might be trying to switch careers, take online classes, research online, doing something online. It might even be dating or opening your own business. With this Princess of Swords, this person could be someone in your life that you might be, um, might be important in your life. Uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And if they're not this sign, it might be their energy. Intelligent, sharp, truthful. She can also stand for a message coming in via internet, email, or phone. Maybe that's where this is coming in. When I get this Lord, I feel like there is someone out there that might need to help you if there's anything that you need. Whether it be a loan, whether it be a new car, a new home, whether it be a judge or an attorney, someone, advice possibly. Maybe it's a business opportunity. Someone needs to help you or give you advice or talk to you. When I get this rebirth, I just feel like things are changing. And it might just be the way you're thinking. It might be you moving to a new home or getting a new job or opening that new business. But sometimes it's just the way you're thinking can refresh you, can re-energize you, and give you freedom that you haven't had in a while. So I like this card f for you guys. It's like it's everything's working out for, for the best. Seeing clearly. It's time to view things from a different perspective. You have... You have the blessed gift to see the past, the current see past the current situation and envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry, the pause and momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. See? It's time to see clearly. That's where this tower's coming in. And the moon. You guys are going to be fantastic, though. Everything's going to work out. This might be happening now, because I'm putting this out a little bit earlier. It might be happening to you right now instead of uh, later on. But um, for some of you, it might be happening later on, too. But I just wanted to throw that in. So if it does resonate with you right now, it, this could be happening right now. Don't panic. It's a great thing, you all. Okay? All right, Cancer. This is your second half of December reading, December 16th through the 31st reading for Cancer. I hope you guys have enjoyed this today. I hope everybody has happy holiday, and I will t uh, talk to you guys soon. Take care, and I will see you soon. Bye.